Okay, let's talk about this shit. Let's fucking talk about it. Uh, I was going to make this into a chat, you know, a topic chat for my chill streams, but I decided to make it its own video. <laughs> I read one comment that prompted this video tonight. Uh, pretty much said, you know, when you're at the top, you get lazy. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, you know what the guy was saying. That the reason why Rocky lost against Clever Lane because he, he got too comfortable at the top. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's not true. But that's not what happened. That's my argument. That's not what the fuck happened. Okay. What the fuck happened was that Rocky had easy mode ass fucking fighters. Okay? Easy mode. He never got better. His best fight was with Apollo Creed. You can see it in the opening fucking credits of Rocky 3 that this, these motherfuckers are weak. He was just mo bulldozing through each fighter. He thought he was actually good because he thought he was fighting real fucking fighters. You know, and Mickey's excuse who threw Rock under a bus and actually didn't think Rock had a chance against Clever Lane, this man who begged Rocky to be his fucking manager when Rocky got that lottery chance against Apollo in the first fam. All of a sudden he wants to be fucking Rocky's manager and shit. When he didn't give two shits about Rocky because he was a waste of life because he was running numbers. Or doing mob things and illegal shit, you know what I'm saying? Which make which 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 I can understand why you don't want to do it. Cause he said it's a waste of life. You got so much talent and you're wasting it, you know what I'm saying? I don't want anything to do with you. That's why I've been giving you shit all these years. Okay, fair enough. But, but the moment that Rocky gets the wins of lottery. To fight against Apollo in part one. All of a sudden, Mickey wants to go to his house. He wants to talk with Rocky. He wants to train Rocky now. He wants to teach Rocky all this shit. Mickey is a fucking asshole. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you like it fucking is. You know I'm fucking right. You can defend Mickey all you want, but you're fucking delusional. I said it. You're delusional. Watch the movies and you know what I'm fucking right. The movies will tell you that Mickey's a fucking dumbass. They said, did it seem odd to you that, that he felt that Rocky had no chance against Clubber Lane because he was protecting Rocky because the beating that Apollo gave him should have killed him? Which one? Part one or part two? Clubber Lane gave him a worse beating. Than Apollo ever gave Rocky. Compare the first two movies. And compare part three. How Clubber Lane was nailing his ass. Apollo wasn't doing that shit to him. Clubber Lane was the one that should have fucking killed him. If you ask me. Apollo Creed was just a regular fucking fight. Apollo was just a regular fighter. Whooping Rocky's ass. You know not really impressive. Just you know. Doing his shit. Clubber Lane was a monster. He was fucking Rocky up. Talk about Club of Lane should have fucking... No, no, I mean, come on. Talk about Apollo should have fucking killed him. Bullshit. Bullshit. Club of Lane was the one that should have fucking killed him. And, and, and people saw Club of Lane is the bad guy. And, you know, he's a fucking asshole and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you put yourself in Club of Lane's shoes, put yourself in his shoes for a second. You see, you, you a fighter, you a becoming fighter, you know what I'm saying? Apollo Creed, your, your former idol, became soft. You know, so you lost respect for Apollo Creed. You're mad about that. You training and training and training. You, you, you find out about Rocky Balboa. He's winning these matches. He, Rocky had 10 fucking title defenses, okay? You seeing this shit on TV, you, you go live and you see Rocky beat these people. And, and, and then you tell his master, that I want Balboa. You tell him I'm coming for him. I want to fight Balboa. 
This man waited three fucking years. He was waiting. Thinking he was going to get a chance against Rocky Balboa for three fucking years. And then all of a sudden, he wakes up one day and finds out that Rocky Balboa is going to fucking retire. Are you fucking kidding me? Who wouldn't be upset about that? He wanted to fight Rocky for three fucking years. See, Rocky Balboa didn't lose against Clubber Lane just because he was worried about Mick. No, it was more than that. He was untrained. That's another reason. He's also untrained. You see how he trained against Clubber Lane that first match? Compare that after he got after he got his, his head all screwed on straight. How he trained against him, Clubber Lane. The second time for the rematch. It's a big difference. He barely fucking trained. And, and it's all Mickey's fault. It's Mickey's fault. I'm telling you. Rocky got complacent. Not because he was at the top fighting big fighters. No. He got complacent because he, he was fighting easy mode ass fucking fighters. He thought he was the best. He thought he was on top. Rocky thought he was good, but he wasn't. He didn't fight a real fucking fight since Apollo. I mean, goddamn. It's the movie's telling you that Mickey is wrong. Rocky even said it. He said, so what if you would have lost the belt? So what? At least it would have been real, Adrian. Remember he said that? Adrian's not even fucking defending her husband. She's defending fucking Mickey. He's doing it. He was trying to protect you. For what? Let me explain something else to you. If, in case you don't fucking still get it. Let me explain something else to you. Let's say you let's say you were you're playing this video game. Of course, you gotta learn the ropes. It's a little bit hard at first. You learn the ropes, you play this game, you beat it over and over again. Okay, this video game. And you're known as the world champion of this game because you keep beating it over and over again. But come to find out, your father had it set on very easy. So you thought you were actually good. How would you feel about that? If you found out that it was set on very easy when you thought you actually was a champion. Of course you would be upset about that. I would be. I'd be like, God damn, why, why can't I play it on normal mode or hard mode? So your goal is, should be to get better, not still playing the same fucking mode. I mean, if you don't want to get better, disregard what I just said. So, yeah, Club Lane had a right to be upset. I would be upset. Anybody else in their shoes would be upset. You know what I'm saying? And plus, and plus, if you know the truth, that he's just like Club Lane said, he don't fight no real man. He fight those setups. They were setups. Even Mickey confirmed it after the scene. He was like, he was like, they said, he's like, no, no, you go try to fucking sugarcoat it and shit. No, no, they were good. They were good fighters, but they wasn't killers like this guy. Translation. They were easy mode fighters, but they wasn't tougher fighters like this guy that would cause you to become a better fucking fighter. I didn't put you against fighters that would make you better because I was worried about you because the beating that you took from Apollo should have killed you, Rock. Shit like that. And you don't got nothing to tell. This is, not, this is further disrespect towards Rocky Balboa, what Mickey said. He says it was my job. To protect you. And he was never going to tell Rocky. That he was fighting hand picked ass fucking fighters. Hand picked. Mickey is the real fucking antagonist. If you ask me. If you want to. If you want to. If, if you want to. Describe a bad guy in Rocky. It was Mickey. 
Because Mickey kept Rocky away from achieving his true strength, becoming the boxer that he should have became. I mean, Rocky was fine against Apollo. What did Apollo's trainer say in part two? He's all wrong for us, baby. You kept knocking him down and the man kept coming after you. We don't need that type of man in our lives. Remember that? They knew Rocky was different. This man was unique. Apollo never fought a man like Rocky before in his career, ever. He said, the way that man took punches, that's unnatural. He just kept coming back. Even his trainer, this man who was like a father to Apollo, was worried about Apollo fighting Rocky again because he knew Rocky was special. And then fast forward to part three. You, you find out that Rocky was fighting these easy mode ass fighters. Mickey disrespected Rocky. Rocky was special. That man had 10 fucking title defenses, okay? That wasn't shit. Again, let me repeat myself. I don't mind doing it. In the opening credits of Rocky 3, look how he just bulldozes to them through them people, man. Bulldozes. And, and tell me in one of those fucking uh sequences, those fights in the opening credits was Rocky all bruised up, eye busted, nose all fucked up, lip bruised and all that shit. No. Cause they were easy mode fighters. But fast forward to him fighting Club Elaine. Club Elaine beat him in what? Round two? Rocky was fucked up. Now compare Rocky's face after Club Elaine fucked his ass up to the, to the opening credits, Rocky. His face was fine. Yeah, he was a little sweaty because that's what's going to happen when you move around. You get sweaty. Your body gets hot, generates sweat to cool you, to cool you down. That's natural. That's what the body does. So yeah, of course he was sweating. So it wasn't just uh, he was worried about Mick. He, was, he wasn't trained. Even if Mickey was there, Rocky still would have got his ass handed to him. I guarantee you he would have got his ass handed to him if Mickey was there. So, that's the truth about the plot of Rocky. Mickey is a fucking asshole. Rocky was put under a bus. He was disrespected. He was lied to. He was given a fucking illusion that he was the best when he actually wasn't. Because he didn't fight against the best, which was Clubber Lang. And number three... I said Mickey was the bad guy. Mickey's the bad guy. So Mickey's the bad guy. Rocky was uh, tricked. He was disrespected, duped. He was put in a delusion by Mickey. And number three, oh, here we go. Clubber Lane was justified in everything he did in that movie. And he called Rocky out during his retirement uh, ceremony. He wasn't going to let that bad go. Of course he's going to fucking say, hey, woman. Hey, woman. Come to my place. Get Rocky riled up so he fight him. Shit, Club Elaine was 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 uh willing to take Rocky into a fucking street fight to beat his ass in the street to show that he's better than Rocky. He was willing to go that far because he was mad. Don't forget, the man waited three fucking years. Three. One, two, three, to fight this man. Of course he's fucking pissed. So Club Elaine is fucking justified. Apollo Creed became a fucking sellout to Club Elaine. You know what I'm saying? He became a has-been. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he looked up to Apollo as a, growing up. You know what I'm saying? At one point. I got nothing else to say. I got nothing else to fucking say. That's is the truth 
about Rocky Three. If you don't believe me, I got nothing else to say. It's the fucking truth. I just laid it out. And to add, Rocky Three is my second favorite Rocky movie. Out of the entire fucking series. I like it better than Rocky IV. Yep. I like it better than Rocky IV. So, that's all I got to fucking say. If, if I come up with something else that I forgot to say in this video, I'm going to put it in the comment section. No, I'm going to put it in the description box. And I'm going to try to put it in the uh, title to let you know that you should check out the description box. In case, I add, in case I come up with something else that I forgot to mention. Uh, yeah, so, so Mickey was, in fact, Mickey was always a fucking go-getter. He was always opportunist. You know what I'm saying? He probably was like that all his life. Like I said in part one, he didn't give a fuck about Rocky in part one until Rocky got the chance to fight Apollo Creed. All of a sudden, Mickey wants to fucking, he's taking interest in Rocky and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised that Rocky accepted Mickey training him. I'm surprised he did. Then you wrote on to fucking part three. You find out that Mickey duped him and shit. You know what I'm saying? After he pushed Rocky to fight Apollo two times in part two, he was pushing Rocky to fight Apollo. The moment Apollo will start threatening him antagonizing him on in the media and shit, provoking him and all that shit. Mickey was like, you bum! You saw he got out that fucking bed in part two? Then all of a sudden, after part two ends, he, Rocky beats Apollo twice, okay? All of a sudden, Mickey's like, I gotta protect him. I gotta, I gotta put him on some easy mode fighters and make him think he's the best, but he's not. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you, Mickey. Fuck you. With that being said, um, that's why this I'm Y chromosome. Sign the fuck out. Peace and love. Good health to you all. And be safe out there. Peace some out.